Rocket League is hard. Bye -bye. Some of us struggle to get flip resets, while other people struggle to get boost. Please help me. <laughs> so today, I'm going over one of the most basic Rocket League mechanics, but one that if you truly understand, will completely change your game. Here's the problem. I was coaching a guy in 1v1 this week when I noticed every time he got the ball, he would try to carry it across the field and flip. Of course, the opponent started to catch on, and he'd end up saving it every time. Instead, your number one option in 1v1, if you ever get space, whether you're high or low ranked, is bounce dribbling. This isn't a personal opinion, it's just straight up the GTO option if you have space. Reason being is because a bounce dribble offers the same outplay potential as a flick, but with minimal to no downside risk. If you full send forward to score a flick, you will be fully screwed if it doesn't go in the net. Uh oh. Bounce dribbles, on the other hand, don't commit you after the shot. Not only that, but if you miss, you can also still follow it up. So to teach you guys advanced bounce dribbles, I teamed up with my buddy Lazord to create the ultimate bounce dribble training pack. This pack not only trains bounce dribbles, but also catches and power slide control as well, which are critical in every game mode. Here's how it works. Each shot, you'll start on defense. Situation is, let's say the opponent just boomed it and lost control, and your job is to turn the ball upfield and score a bounce dribble ASAP. Here's how it's done. Step number one, catch the ball and regain control. A key to an effective catch is to meet the ball as you're decelerating so that you gradually bring it to a halt. Step two, start the bounce dribble. Use power slide to cut the ball in and the key here is to attack at an angle away from the net. What you absolutely don't want to do is make your first soft touch right down the middle of the net. Then you'll have no angles to play with for shooting. Instead, make your hit cross field or away from the net to create a hook that you can actually follow up. Step three, swoop around and finish with a diagonal flip or barrel roll. Use this formula to practice basic hook shots, bounce dribble shots, or even mid volleys. But regardless of your skill level, make sure you're hooking around the ball and using a diagonal flip or barrel roll, not a front flip. Otherwise, you'll rubber ducky the shot. To get the training pack, it's linked in my free Discord down in the description below. Or if you didn't catch it in my last video, we just announced a massive pro expansion op inside my private coaching program. This Friday, we just passed 50% enrollment. But warning, when we sell out seats this season, the price will increase $100 to fund our new coaches. So if you've been on the fence about coaching and you want to get in before the price goes up, DM me with the code in on Discord and I'll make sure to hold you a spot before then. Thanks for watching.